Hi, everyone. Welcome in. I hope you all are doing great. I am doing okay. I just need to fix the lighting a little bit. And we should be good. Oh, to go. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, no. Let's see. I don't know what's going on with me. Anyway, hope everyone's doing great. Um, we're going to be doing some Christmas crafting. What kind of Christmas crafting? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Not really. I have an idea of what we're going to be doing. Um, I ran out and ran an errand. Did not get a chance to complete the errand in full. So here we are. If you haven't seen these, they have these at the Dollar General. I think Dollar General for a buck. If you go, you may actually encounter the ones for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Still a decent deal, I suppose, for 25 gifts. Do you really give more than 25 people gifts? I don't know. I thought it would be fun to follow up with what we were working on last week that we did not finish. Unfortunately for you all, I am frantic right now. Not in a bad way, just not in a, a mentally good way. <laughs> So let's go ahead and pull out some stuff to work with. Now, I have been telling you all for a while, go to Hobby Lobby, go to Hobby Lobby, go to Hobby Lobby, buy some stuff, buy some stuff, spend all your money, spend all your money, spend all your money. And you all were like resistant, right? You were very resistant to that thought, that notion. Well, I want to talk to you about something. In 2016, 24 pieces was $2.99, these little bulbs right here. In 2022, 18 pieces, and these are very heavy, were um, are $4.99. And then 24, these little bulbs are $3.99 for this year. I told you all, Hobby Lobby rarely puts stuff on sale before the holidays, always afterwards. These things right here, not these, these things are 70% off right now. Went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. They didn't have much of it in anymore. So maybe you can go to a Hobby Lobby near you that's not so vulturistic. Because where I live, honey, they want all of the everything. But anyway, we're not here for that. We are here for some fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun stuff. We're going to pull out our little jewelry kit. One of the things that I have... I had purchased these from a store that was a bracelet, and I was able to just extract some of the things off that I wanted to make. So we're going to try to make a piece of jewelry out of this and this. Then I want to do some cards. Hopefully we have enough time. I have a few things that I want to accomplish today. Um, adulting seems to want to always take precedence over everything that I'm doing right now. Good morning, Chapter City Sim. Hopefully you're doing well today. Good morning, Deb. Hopefully you are well today as well. So here we go. Now, I don't have any tools to make any jewelry with. I just got the equipment. That's not very good. I don't have a <laughs> mat. <laughs> not very good. I was like, I need to run this errand, and I'm going to be back. And then I sat down, and I was watching a video. You know, sometimes it's easily, it's much more easier to be distracted when you are easily distracted than normal. Like, if you're not, if your head isn't in the game, you can easily be distracted, in my opinion, a lot quicker. Um... So here we go. Oh, I'll put this to the side. Because we just need these jewelry findings. I did. So Deb, I'm not sure who else creates jewelry. But I went to Hobby Lobby and I needed some. Um, what did I need? I wanted some jump rings, some keychains because I wanted to make you know, keychain jump rings. So I want to make some Chucky Charms. They went up in price. I mean, I, I get it. I understand inflation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But goodness, they went up a lot. And the thing is, they're going up and not giving you any more quantity. It's like they're, they're decreasing the quantity 
and they're steady increasing the price. Exactly, exactly, um, Deb. I think sometimes it's just, I don't know, we can put stuff off for X amount of time, and then when it's time to get with it, it's time to get with it. I didn't even realize that I missed one of my collaboration videos today until this morning. Um, and I'm going to have to make that up at some point. But it's a spooky collaboration, so I can't make that up with today's crafting. I don't even think we're going to be able to do this thing because she cannot see. This is what happens when you attempt to get organized. In the attempt to get organized, I have become unorganized. I had all my stuff in a container. And now I can't see it. Okay. No worries. We'll just temporarily shift gears i still need to make these so at some point i have to do this because i'm i can't remember what the collaboration is for today i mean for the 18th there but i have an idea what i want to try to do so i'm not behind on any collaborations ever again hi foster mom hopefully you're doing well so we'll see um now they do have some paper left at hobby lobby so if you are into any kind of christmas stuff Go get it before it's gone. Go get it before it's gone. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. And at a dollar ninety nine, it's cheaper than going to the Dollar Tree. So what I also thought we could make some ephemera. So we're gonna use this right here. Some Christmas ephemera. We have a little sticker book. And let's pull out some paper. I know. I just want you to get the good deals. You don't have to go, but it would be nice if you did so I could see the haul videos. I'm always about to... Oh, my goodness. Speaking of haul videos, uh, I went to Tuesday morning. Ooh. I was looking for one thing. So they have a gingerbread house from Spellbinders. So we're going to just get some paper out. I'm going to get um some red paper. Um, yeah, I think red paper will work. Actually, you know what? Let's just make it a um, a tag right quick. We can stamp in color. I'm not afraid of stamping in color. But we're going to use this, and we're going to cut these down to four inches. And I think we'll use this candy right here. Um, and so they have the Spellbinders. Hmm. Let's do three. Yeah, let's do three. Oh, that's off. That's okay. Turn it around. That was way off at the bottom. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, it is, this weather here is hot and rainy. Hi, Samara. How you doing today? Hopefully well. And then we're going to uh, do six. So it's going to be a three by six. Now, if you have decorative scissors, it would be very cool to pull those out and go ahead and cut one side. If you don't, no worries. It is okay to use your plain scissors. I I want to talk about Christmas crafts. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be in the same spirit that I was for Halloween, but more. I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. I haven't did anything. I am, like I said last week, I am not really in the holiday spirit. Um, I'm okay with not being in the holiday spirit. I'm still going to do the things that I need to do for the family. But I'm just not in the holiday spirit. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're just going to give it a small frame. It's going to be four. 
And so we're going to do three and a quarter. Can we do three and a quarter? Let's do three and a quarter. Yeah. I, um... I um I have one more gift to get and then I am done with the men folk in my life. Walmart had this really cool thing. So last year, right? Last year, my son loves pancakes and he loves his mommy's pancakes, which I don't like making pancakes, but I do. Not all the time. Not all the time, but I make pancakes. So um Yeah, this is going to be nice. Okay, so we're going to cut off two inches. And um, they had, Walmart had this little mini pancake maker. It was like $9 and something. So this year, I went to Walmart, not looking for anything in particular. I like to get those little trinket gifts because I got the big roommate, a uh, back massage or whatever. Uh, thank you. We had a doctor's appointment. Well, I had a doctor's appointment. Just use your three minute trick. Now relaxing. Oh, at Chocolate City Stem. She's sleeping. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> um, and so... They had another one. It was $15 and it's four. I'm going to show it to y'all. I'm not saying go buy it. I think this is going to be really fun. <sighs> sure. Nah. Uh -huh. Chocolate City Sim, are you, do you have a lot of calls today? Trying to get through the work day. Oh, yeah, because tomorrow you left it. But do you have a lot of calls today is my question. Are you able to dedicate an hour to um, F076? <laughs> Just an hour. All right. So we're going to cut off these. I I I really thought we was going to be making some jewelry first, but you know, no. Two calls, one. Okay. I'm waiting on the message from the store that says, come, come get your stuff. So, um, I'm going to show y'all a thing. So anyway, Tuesday morning, they have a gingerbread house box die from Spellbinders. And I want it because I've been I've been eyeing it for the last couple of years from Spellbinders. And I did not go Black Friday shopping because I was like, you really don't need anything. Let's not lose your mind. Let's stay uh, focused on not buying a bunch of stuff. Right. All right. So we got our layer pieces. Somebody cut this short. I wonder who that was. All right. This layer piece. Now. So I am not a very good ephemera maker person. I've watched a few YouTube videos. And like, you know, if you go to um, Pinterest, a lot of people will show you they have this beautiful um, creation they've created with like two things. And you're like, how'd you do that? And it's like, I can't tell you, because if I tell you, I have to kill you. Well, I'm not that person. I'm going to show you all that I know um, about this. We're going to just do something plain and simple. We're going to put this little tree here. We're going to try to find a sentiment that will fit in here. And hopefully I got a word stamp or not a stamp, a word sentiment that fits inside one of my favorite um, punches from Stampin' Up!, I also need to make cards for my card group that I'm in. She sent me an email, a text message. She's like, are you going to do it next year? I was like, yeah, if you guys are okay with me doing it. Because I am I feel like I, my my stuff is the least impressive of their of their things, right? And I'm not saying it to be like, oh, I can't make a card. I mean, I, I know I can make a card, but their cards are just very, very impressive. That's all I'm saying. So we have this candy cane situation going on right here. We may actually have to fussy cut out some trees to put like a tree here um but these are not clear so these are good as well like these trees right here but we're going to use this tree so let's go ahead and open this up i feel like somebody opened this up and took out one of my trees that would be devastating if they did and it's on these stickers 
no, just dot cuts. So just think three ninety nine. 70% off, right? Or 60% off whenever you get a chance, whenever you could have had a chance to go. Um, and now, I don't know. We may actually have to cut this card in half because I don't think we're going to have a lot of space for the rest of this. But we're going to do a few embellishments. I'm going to figure out what I did with my tools. And we're going to make those earrings because I really want to make those. So, like you see, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This will fit on here. And in case you're wondering which, good morning, Barry. How you doing today? Hopefully well. Oops, sorry about the camera shake. This thing right here is um, what I was saying that we could put a sentiment in. So it's not a huge punch, but I like it. All right. So we're going to use Seasons Greetings. Unfortunately, we don't have a bunch of Seasons Greetings. So we're going to use Seasons Greetings. I'm going to just tear this page out so yeah i went to tuesday morning i was really excited because i normally you know i had stopped going but i saw someone had shown that gingerbread house that's the reason why i went to look at it and they had a few things that i got i got some stamps um a santa claus stamp you all know i'm a sucker for santa and snowman um stamps so yeah they were $10 from Picket Fences. And I went online to see if they were cheaper anywhere else because I was like, uh-uh. And one place was cheaper, but shipping and handling made it not cheaper, if that makes sense. So we can make three of these exact tags, right? And I think we could use this Merry Christmas as well. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and put this to the side. And we could also use our tag tag. We could actually, let's see if we could pull that off. We would need a red one. If that, oh, that's too much. Maybe joy. We could try joy. Let's see. I have some really cool ideas for next year. <laughs> uh, for the collaborations that I'm a part of, a few of them have already announced that they will be making returns, like Jury Making Fun collaboration hosted by Deb Polk. And she's in the chat right now. So if, you, um, if you're interested in crafts and you want to learn more, especially like jewelry making stuff. She's probably one of the people that I would say I would recommend going to her channel and um, siphoning all of her knowledge. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this piece like that. I'm just going to cut it. All right. We're going to take this piece. I think I've shown you this before, how to make a tab. All right, I'm going to make this a little bit. There we go. I enjoy watching um, jewelry making videos. So, No, that's that's a different person. Um, Berry Crafty still have Berry Crafty. Berry Charm is more of a gamer, and she does miniature craft creations. Yeah, no, very crafty, still very crafty. She did take off the last part, but it's still very crafty. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix our tags real quick. We're going to do, I think we'll try to do four, okay? Because four is a nice round number, right? No worries. Anybody have any good plans for the weekend? And when I say good plans, like stress-free, doesn't require a lot of thought to it. You don't have to get dressed up unless you want to get dressed up. Let's see. One, two. See our snowman from last week? Now, if I had followed through and made my thing, we would have known where our jewelry making stuff was. That's why I did not finish. But I have to get them done like before Thursday. So I have a day. So we got one, two, three, four. My weekend plans are cleaning. So we're just going to go ahead and put this here. We're going to put it all the way to the edge, both of these. I want to get in my closet and, um, 
get rid of some items. That's what I want to do. I have read this article. It was a long time ago. It was like this lady wore the same outfit for 30 days and no one noticed. Like, not the exact same outfit, but variations of the same outfit. Something like that for a week or something and no one noticed. I think that's when she was trying to begin her minimalist journey. And she was like, what you really need is a good black skirt, a good blouse, you know, two jackets and two slacks. I'll be putting together a dinner plan for Christmas. Nice. I need to do that. Because I asked the big roommate what he wanted. And he was like, you know, traditional Christmas stuff. The little man's like, what we had last year? I'm like, last year wasn't a traditional Christmas stuff. So, and I'm like, I want lasagna. I have no plans. Sure, someone make plans. Uh oh. Well, that should be fun. Around eight people. Good goodness. All right, so we're going to slide this down just a little. I should say up. All right. And so this is our frame. I love it already. I want to ink up the edges. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use some rusty hinge. And do I have, no, I was going to say, do I have a good ribbon? I don't have a good ribbon. I have some twine though, so we're gonna use that twine. <laughs> I remember the time I watched Mr. Holtz explain why the lids fall off, and I was like, and you know, I I'm a comment reader in the comment section of videos, and I was like, hmm, that's all well and fine for your situation because you know you probably have unlimited supply of whatever you want but what about us regulars regular folks don't have access to um that supply so i can understand how people like my lids don't fit they're too loose My table was shaking. So I was trying to keep my arms from leaning on the edge of it. I always, I'm always amazed at what influencers say. Not enablers. Influencers is a different. Influencers had a name on stuff. Enablers just be like, look what I spent my money on. <laughs> I remember when he was Mr. Holtz, that is, was selling that box you can spray in the box. And he was like, I know you're probably thinking, come on, it's just a box. And he was like, yeah, it's just a box, but blah, blah, blah. I was like, it's still just a box. Like, if you ordered anything from Amazon, you got that thing for free because it came with your package. So you probably spent 2 $3 on packaging. I think that um, that's what always interests me. Like, I'm quite sure when this came out, everybody was like, oh, I could take a sponge. And I could do whatever with. And then when you see it in action, like, oh, I need that. I bought a hockey puck because they were selling those things for the stamps. I just bought some hockey pucks that was way cheaper than that stamp thing that they're showing. The stamp buddy or stamp somebody. Can't remember the name of it, but yeah. It's our last little piece. I'm trying to see what sh making my table shake. It's not me because I'm not even leaning on it anymore. But yeah. So what's the menu looking like, Barry? Like, are you thinking, okay, I'm gonna have apple pie, or peach cobbler, or chocolate cake, or German chocolate cake, 
um, turkey versus ham? Is it none, tra- you know, none Christmas traditional stuff, or is it something totally different? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. I've been into tax lately, a lot more than I probably should be, um, which is not good because usually once I get something in my my mind, I want to do it for a while. I'm not sure if Heather is at her family's house, but hopefully, you know, she has safe travels. Safe travels. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So for my Christmas dinner, what I normally make is macaroni and cheese from scratch. Um, I don't like making greens. Don't judge me, please. I just don't like doing it. Um, one of the reasons why I don't like doing this because it's harder to find all of the ingredients that I need. But um, normally, it's just going to burnish this down. I'll make some form of greens or if not greens, cabbage. And since my family is just three people um, and we don't eat pork, I usually get a ham or a chicken or a hen. So we didn't make this duck wrapped in turkey thing, but his family is southern, so I don't know how well that will. Is it what is it? Cherdurkin? Is that what you're talking about? We have greens for the new year. Yeah, I don't I don't do a New Year's meal only because I'm not cooking three times big meals and the food goes bad. For for New Year's, I usually make cabbage. Um vegetarian baked beans and a meat and um that's it we don't when i was little my mom would wake me up for new year's eve we pray um then we go back to sleep as i got older i used to go to church and now i'm like i'm sleeping the new year in i'm not i'm not going to the club i'm not doing any of that i think so i wrote down the idea I have to reach it, research it. Yeah, I think it's called turdurkin. So it's like a turkey on the outside. Inside is a duck. And then I think inside the duck is a hen or something. Something weird like that. Um, not, you know, it's weird because you don't really stuff a whole bunch of other chicken uh, poultry inside of other poultry. But I think that's what turdurkin. Yeah, turkey, duck hen or something like that so you you know each thing is bigger 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 and you just put it in inside that's i don't know i will say this duck is greasy so that would be very interesting to see how that comes out but i wish you luck yeah duck is very greasy yeah it's a lot of meat um especially if it's well you have eight people but you said they're southern and for most Southern people, they usually do turkey or a ham. And if they had, most people do turkey for Thanksgiving, so they want a ham for Christmas. It's a dish consisting of deboned chicken stuffed into a deboned turkey. I mean, deboned duck stuff into a deboned turkey. I'm, I'm good. So who deboning all of that? And so you got to cook each thing and then stuff it in. And then... I don't know. That would be interesting to see. The turkey, is it just the skin? Definitely meat sweats. I used to have meat sweats when I ate pork. Oh. Because we go to people's houses for Christmas. Oh my goodness. Oh, Thanksgiving. Not Christmas so much, but Thanksgiving. Whew. And I ate pork then with ham. Because I love, I love the taste of ham. It's something about a good old piece of ham that's just mm, 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 mm. I stopped eating pork in 2006 um, and I, I used to suffer from really really bad migraines so I stopped doing it my mom was working with me but I will be doing most of the heavy lifting cooking wise yeah I I, I um I don't know so we'll probably have mashed potatoes from scratch Ugh. so it'll probably be this is how my family thinks right when I grew up if you have a if you have a starch, you need to have a green, right? So 
my current family <laughs> thinks that if I make a meal, we have to have rice and corn and maybe green beans. And so like I made, and I understand I made soup, but I had potatoes in it. I had a lot of starches, potatoes, carrots, green beans, some nasty llama beans, um, not green beans, sweet peas, and another green, right? And then I had chopped chicken. And so the big room was like, where's the rice? I was like, I'm not making rice because you got potato and corn. So if I make any type of thing, if there's no rice there, like, where's the rice? I'm like, I'm not making rice. That's always the question. Where's the rice? Sirs. At the store, in the cabinet. Um, the other day I made spaghetti. Now, mind you, I am the, I am the house cook, right? So I understand how food goes in this house. We're going to go ahead and punch these with my little paper punch that I have hidden underneath all of this other wonderful craft stuff. And um, the big roommate was like, you're hungry for chicken soup, corn, and rice soup. Oh, no. That's a lot of... Mm, I, <laughs> I want to go to Panera Bread. They have this, oh my God, it's so good. It is broccoli and cheese soup inside of a a sourdough bowl. Oh my gosh. I love it. It is delicious. We're going to go ahead and punch a hole right here. And now we're just going to copy this. I try not to put my holes in um, before I try to put them in after I've um, glued them down. It's rarely in the middle. <laughs> and I always try to make sure that it's, the glue is not wet. Um, yeah, I like Panera bread. Um, they've changed over the years, though. They're not as delicious as I remember them. But, you know, sometimes when you eat something for the first time, you're like, oh, that's so good. That's so yummy. And it's not always that good. It's just that your brain is telling you this is something I've never had and I like it. Maybe it's just me. Right. Got that. And we're going to pull out oh, our one of our stamps. I'm going to stamp it and do some fussy cutting. I went to lunch yesterday with a friend and had eggplant rolls and Rosini. It was scrumptious eggplant rolled. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Deb. All right, y'all. I, I'm, I'm getting ready to go to Deb's house because I need to go to this restaurant that she just mentioned. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not leaving. But, yeah, that sounds so good, Deb. Mm. Mouth watering over here. I haven't had anything to eat today besides some cheese balls from when I made my son's lunch. So, you know, I'm a little bit on the, hmm, everything's going to sound good to me. I'm going to pull out some um, doilies. I'm not, I'm not, I may not use these doilies, but I'm just going to pull them out. Because we haven't used doilies in a while. And I've been trying to consolidate all of my doilies and just put them in one container. So it's just easier to find and use versus all over the place, can't find or use anything. So that's the goal. Okay, so I want to show y'all this thing, right? And we're going to be making these really quickly. Okay, give me one second, please. I'm opening up the, the thing. My phone to show you this. And I want to do it. Um, fairly soon. Hopefully I can get in this Christmas spirit and get some videos up. We've did a few though. We've done a few. Well, if you never, if you ever way up this way, a little place called Ron's School, how we started. No, no, we going together. What you mean? We going together. Drag you out the house. So look, this is at Hobby Lobby, right? And it's called plaid poinsettias. And it's one, two, three, four. I think it's four layers. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. So if you got some plaid paper and um, some gold, that's what we're going to be doing. See, look. Very cool. 
I want to do that. It won't be today, but I want to do it. I'm just trying to find this stamp. The stamp set. <laughs> and of course, I can't find it. That's okay. We have other stamps. We can always do some other stamping. So we're going to just go ahead. We got two of these, three, four. All right. Let's do this. Is this one? This cannot be one. This thing is thick. So I'm folding in half. I'm going to just um, unbury the scissors and chop it. Say Doc says I need to eat like a rabbit and exercise. Hmm. Yes, I love plaid. It's one of my favorite craft designs, I think. I think plaid is very universal. You know, you can make a lot of masculine themed cards with that. Of course, Christmas cards. I enjoy it. Now look, this thing still feels like it's more than one all right, well, let's fold it again. Yeah, I um, I don't buy everything I see at Hobby Lobby. I'll, I'll take pictures and use it as inspiration. All right. Just gonna put these to the side as they dry. And I'm trying to pull out this dang stamp, but apparently, I lost it. Nothing new. I think that's the one bad thing about getting organized is if you don't get organized all at once, like say if you're doing it piece by piece, and of course you sometimes can't just be like, all right, I'm going to organize everything in a matter of minutes or hours, unless you're a very organized person. But I'm not that person. I, I take a long time because I like to go and look at my stuff and be like, oh, I remember this thing. It was so blah, 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 blah. And um, I get distracted so so freaking quick. I think it's right here. Um, that sometimes the organization takes a, a whole different journey. But I get there in the end, and that's where my goal is. Because the little guy will be out of school, goodness gracious, until next year. So, found it. We're going to use this stamp. I think we're going to use, we'll see, because she's pretty big. I'm just going to poke her out. Oh, crap. I didn't tore the paper. Uh, she says that she has a bunch of my little Christmas items on her desk from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, well, what happened? Wait, wait, what else? Listen, wait, what am I saying? Getting organized or what? I didn't, I, I forgot what I said. Um, or, and we talk, are we talking about enabling? Which one is it? So I'll know what, which, which response to give you. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say you're not wrong. Either way, you're not wrong. Um, I have been very, very good, though. Let me tell you why I've been very, very good. And maybe you all can help me. So, Spellbinders, unfortunately, I was on Facebook the other day. And Spellbinders has this deal right now. I don't even know if you can call it a deal. You said you don't buy it. Oh, yeah, I don't buy everything at High Blood. Look, this was six. This Okay, first of all, this is from... 2016 old and other ones yeah you're right um but spellbinders has a sale deal right now hmm. they have you said you don't buy it. yeah okay i read that already they have where you can get all of their monthly kits for 100 dollars. now that's a lot of money but let's just say you have three kits that you're subscribed to 
the big die, the stamp, and the kit of the month. I did the math, and it's like 60 something dollars for like three clubs. So, oh, yeah, I don't, let me tell you, the only person that I really don't buy a lot of honeybee stamps, unfortunately, um, because, uh, you know, I'm trying to only spend money at Hobby Lobby, apparently. <laughs> I'm joking. All right. So we got this. Let's move this out the way. And let's move all of this out the way. We need this. And we need that. And we're going to use this stamp, this ink right here. I don't have my tray to, to hold it, so we just need to be mindful of that. And this is new. I don't think I'm going to have to prime it, but if I do, no worries. I can't wait to see the haul, Deb. You don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but do you feel more creative now that you're not slightly pigeonholed to one brand or do you feel the same or do you feel like you have to think more or think harder since you're not doing one brand all right so we're going to go ahead and come over here and we're going to press down and because there's only one um, inking, if it's not that great, I'll understand. But bam, but bam, look at it, look good. She looks good, darling. All right. So we're just going to have her as a standby, a little more creative. Have I'm in a slump, just well. Um, from my experience, usually when it gets closer to the time of someone that's not here anymore, that, you know, that time frame or their birthday or, or whatever, it, it can be like that. I force myself to craft sometimes just because I need to get out those emotions. I hope that makes sense. I'm not saying to go ahead and force yourself to craft, but it just gives me a little bit more um, things that I enjoy. Not even so much crafting, but even if I was just cutting paper, right? Just cutting paper sometimes. I'm like, okay. Um, but I also have another, I have another gateway drug, I guess, and it's craft uh, video games. So... I have a few things that help me out. And sometimes you just need a good nap, not a long nap, you know, like an hour or so. And you move on. But being in a craft slump is the pits, in my opinion. Because you're like, I have all these supplies and I can't even must up enough strength to go into the craft space or wherever you are, you know, wherever you create at and um, create. We're only going to do three of these young ladies because I, we probably only get to one because I'm getting ready to do some coloring real quick. So, um, yeah. And we're going to be using Spectrum New R Browns. I think they had these at Tuesday, not Tuesday morning. Um. Joanne fabric. I still think they have them. They probably repackaged them, but these are the browns. And I think we're going to try TN7. And on the packaging, it gives you the hues. But we're going to use TN7. So we're just going to do a quick little. Okay. So, yeah. We're going to do her hair. Oh. Might be a little bit too dark, but that's okay. The other day I was driving 
and I pass by. Now I don't. I'm gonna preface this with, all right, Deb. Um, I don't eat a lot of donuts, but I was passing by Krispy Kreme, and the light was on. I was like, mm, Krispy Kreme. I didn't stop, but she was tempted. I was so tempted. Mm. Been having a craving for like some sweets lately. Sweets I don't normally eat. I'm going to have to get a donut today. I would love some cinnamon rolls. I had baked some cookies last week. Um, the big roommate was complaining. He said he had went to some store and they didn't have cookies. And he was like, they don't have much. I'll make you some. Like He's like, you got cookies? I was like, he said it just like that too. You got cookies? I was like, yeah, I got cookies. Who don't have cookies? Like laying around in their house. I was like, yeah, I'm supposed to be making them with the little roommate. So this is GB10. It's dark too. Dang it. Let's see. EB5. That's dark as well. We're going to use this one though. Let's see what GB8 got going on for us. All right. I like the plain ones, not glazed, just plain. I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> yeah, Barry, you need the sugar. Hi, Barry Crafty. How you doing today? Hopefully well. I'm not sure if Deb is back. She said she's AFK, but she was asking about you because we have another Barry in the channel. And she thought that you were her, had changed your name to that name. All right, so she looks a little bit green <laughs> right now, but um, we're going to adjust her. We'll adjust her shortly. I was hoping that the color would um, stand out a little bit more than it is and not in a green way but it's not it's giving us totally green fashion so we will have to adjust that and I'm just thinking how sway how, how are we going to adjust it let's see um, this is going to be her hair. Um, I'm okay. I didn't get a chance to write you this morning. I was hoping that you would come in. I want to show you those things. The femur pieces. But, um... I'll, I'll, I'll text you more. I was semi-preoccupied. You know, like when you have something looming over your head, do y'all just not do it to do other stuff? That's me. I'm like, oh, I need to go do the laundry. But instead, I'm going to go watch Pop Out of Sailor Man. Something silly. It's always something. And it's not even relevant either most of the time. I'm hungry though. Who hungry? Excuse me one second, please.
Welcome back, Deb. Okay, so <laughs> I just had a frantic moment <laughs> just now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I went to tell the big roommate that it was 1035 because they have to be to work at 11. Apparently, I wasn't paying attention, and this person has walked out the house. And so I go upstairs, and they're not there. I go in the bedroom, and they're not there. And I'm like, where are they? Pay me no mind. So we're going to be using this Nova. I don't know where I got these from. Look like Avon. But it's Nova. Um, and we're going to be using E26. We're going to try to fix this skin tone real quick. I don't want to make everybody the same skin tone. So we're going to see um, what's going on with this one. Oh, right, yeah, that's good. And then which one do we use? This one. So we can go back on top of that with that one. All right. And these are all alcohol markers. I remember last year, the year before, um, Five and Below messed up. They messed up. They had some really good skin tone markers for $6, $5, something like that. Very good. They stopped selling them. They probably got a cease and desist. They're like, stop selling Liz, I was like, am I tripping? Did this man walk out the house and I didn't see him? Was he even in the house when I came home earlier? His car is outside, so he got to be in the house. I was thinking like, is he in the bathroom taking a shower? I was more like fearful that something had happened to him. Yeah, the rapture came and got his behind. <laughs> He's still here, but now. <laughs> All right. This is a nice um color. I probably should have found a little bit lighter one to try and pull her in, her skin tone in. <laughs> what you mean it left me? Oh, he could. No, no, no. Wait, what part? Well, I thought he had, I didn't know where he was. I was just concerned that he may have, you know, hurt, not himself, but got hurt, like fell down and hurt himself or whatever. Oh, the rapture left you and took, oh, girl, if the rapture take him and not me. Not the Jesus rapture, that rapture that happened for Y2K. I'm okay with that. It would be hard to explain the, 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 the children, <sighs> but I'm okay with it. <laughs> It is, you know, what it is when it comes to that. If they thought they saw fit to get him, the aliens, then, you know. So I'm just going back over with the original color because that's what the colorist people tell you to do when you're blending. You go over the light color, the dark color, then the light color to pull all these colors together. And I think she's looking mighty scrumptious looking. The bad part is the artist, like all these little fine lines, I don't have a fine line marker. So that's the issue. <laughs> I bet y'all like she wrong for that. I, I mean, I'm I'm serious though. Okay. I'm very serious about that. Can you hear me better this way or the other way? And then I gotta go, oh, I gotta go to um Best Buy today because my headset is going in and out. If you've ever played a video game, and this is like old school video game playing, when you first started playing Mario, you know how you jump with your controller? That was me with the headset. I'm like moving my headset, moving my head, trying to adjust the, the sound. It's a shortage in the card, and appearance a shortage in my head because I was like, oh, I need to do that. I need to do that. I want to go to um, words. This is what happens when your mouth moves faster than your brain processes your thoughts. Um, Burlington, because they usually have like inexpensive alcohol markers and stuff. And so um, the little guy is going to be out of school for a while, y'all. And so I'm like, 
we're going to do some artsy fartsy stuff. Like we're going to get into it. We're going to see if he's cut from the same cloth of his mom or the crazy cloth of his father. Probably a little bit of both, but mostly dad. Most likely dad. Um, the crazy part that is. Um, but we're going to see. Um, I got a few Christmassy things. So we're going to make those to put them on a Christmas tree. That's E26. Let's see if this E30 or either E22 is a little bit lighter. Um, you sound like you are feeling better today. I am. I took some emergency. So I got rain on again today. But nonetheless, I took some emergency this morning. My head is hurting. So I was able to put in a, a food request to the a big roommate. Okay, so we're going to use this E22, I think it is. Yeah, for her skin. So, yes, thank you. I am feeling a, a bit better. Um, he, my kiddo, we had pizza last night, and he's a little pizza scoundrel. Pizza scoundrel. He didn't eat any of his pizza. So, they got me in a tizzy last night, like a panic, after I finished talking to y'all. So I woke him up. I know. I woke him up and gave him some medicine and told him to go back to sleep. Um, and then he, I just kept, checked on him throughout the night. He slept well. He was snoring. But I think his allergies are acting up because, unfortunately, my child has allergies. And the bad thing is he's had allergies for a long time since he was born. I was like, he has allergies. Like... Babies don't have allergies. Like, that's what everybody was telling me. You're just a worried mom. First time moms always think that, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, sure. Um, and then the doctor diagnosed him with allergies a year and a half ago, two years ago. I was like, oh, so he got allergies. Now, it's not the same doctor because I lived in Mississippi when he was first born. But he always had like that nasally um, sleep when he was first a baby. He used to have eye boogers a lot. So I was like, the only thing that we can get rid of is the cat. And then everybody's like, you're going to get rid of your cat? I'm like, uh, cat a human, cat a human. And then it clears up. So it's seasonal. It comes and goes. And I think the weather's getting ready to change. So that's why he's feeling like that, I guess. Um... We're going to use this on her hair. Yeah. These markers are nice. I always try to get good skin tone markers because, you know, I have those Julie Nutting dolls and I'm like, or stamps, I should say. I'm like, oh, yeah. I was going to use one of those on, on our card, but I was like, ah, uh, let's try something a little bit different. So, yes, I am feeling better, Chuck City. I bet you like, I just asked what she's feeling better. She had to give me a whole rundown. I did, so didn't I? I think um, if he's healthy <laughs> tomorrow, um, I may try and do a live stream tomorrow. Yes, my allergies are pretty bad right now, too, especially if I skip a day. And that's the thing. I told him, like this morning I gave him some more, um, like, Motrin. But I told him I should have gave him his... Um, his flow nays. And so I said, we'll do that for the next couple of days because we still wear our mask. But my son, my son, a little gangster, he wear his mask underneath his nose and that's um, not good. And the kids at the school have been sick lately a lot, a lot more than normal. So I told him, I was like, son, if you don't wear your mask properly, it's not going to do that little bit of anything. And he's like, okay, mommy. But okay, mommy really is like, lady, if you don't leave me alone, I don't have time for this nonsense. I don't have time for you crying to me. Okay, so we're going to take a quick segue. A quick segue. Okay. So, uh, Deb, cover your ears. <laughs> I don't want you calling me out for having a little Christmas shop on my desk from Hobby Lobby. No, I'm joking. Um, so, this was not on sale. This is on sale, but not really. Normally, Paper Studio is 40, 50% off. And since, you know, it's a paper shortage, it's 50% off. But I was like, this is a good deal. 
40% off. This is how the back looks. Liz, you still here? Hopefully you're still here. Um, so this is how the back looks. And for paper crafters, you know, you can cut this out in like a die cut frame or something and use this packaging for something. And then you get these cute little um, ephemera pieces. I was going to use these today, but we're doing Christmas. I mean, even though, you know, you can have butterflies and stuff. Yeah, Deb, I agree. And I ain't got to do all the detail cutting um, right here. But I do think if you have a scanning cut, which I, I know I have one, and you want to print these out on paper, you can probably make your scanning cut cut these out. Um, easy peasy. And then you got bigger pieces. And this is matte. It's like a matte feel to it, not a glossy, a gloss feel. You know, I'm a sucker for butterflies, so. That could have been a moth, I'm not sure. Okay, so we got that one. You got the, the gist of this one. And then this other one, I love it. Like, I think it's, it's so unique to paper crafting because we do a lot of this anyway. So you see it has like this chairs, a deer, coffee cups. I guess you call it a stag and then a deer. And look, it has stamp set, um, teacups, books. And then that's how it looks. It's 100 pieces. So you could always do the math and see if it's worth it to you if you are a paper crafter. And look at this. Just like somebody embossed the paper, put some things on there, and then mailed it off. Maybe a stamp and look this little... Um, what are the names of these? This one is called Die Cuts 50 Designs. I don't have a name. But here's the number, Deb. 2213890. You're welcome. And then look at these little bitty stamps. And look at this little guy, this little squirrel, eating a, a berry of some sort. Mushrooms, more stamps. If you go to the store, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're very, very pretty. I'm not sure if you go or if you're going to go in the store, but wherever the, for where I live, the Tim Ho section, and then they have the paper studio. And it's kind of like a copy of his stuff or vice versa, or whatever. And then look at this jugs, little deer. And Bambi, and um, I can't remember her, his girlfriend's name, but yeah. Um, a couch, a sofa. Some of you probably know people that own that. You may own it yourself. And look at this. This is a big piece, so this is very good. A little plate for some cookies. A tag with buttons on it and some stamp on it. So yeah, this is very cool. And even if you don't want to buy the thing, you could go and try to replicate some of it like this right here i have a tag i've been trying to find more a different die for stamps and you can just stamp this out and die cut it so yeah i don't even know if barry's still here or not very crafty <laughs> but hopefully she saw <laughs> so yeah normally you know paper studio is 50 percent off but now it's 40 percent off um, hopefully it changes back once the pulp issue is done. Um, once we get back to having paper pulp, maybe they'll change the price back. That's why I was so shocked that they had their Christmas stuff on clear. Well, it's not clearance, but 60% off and then 70% off my Stampin' Up! Rectangle Punch would work for that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think I, well, I think I may own that but I'm not sure. I can't remember. I have a We Are Memory Keep. No. A Spellbinders four-piece die set. And they're pretty big. So I have to see. And they're square-shaped versus rectangle punches. I mean dies. So I have to see. I have another one. I thought I had another die set that did it. But it would be so easy to just go ahead and stamp and then punch with a paper punch. 
have to check and see. The bad part is whenever I do a Google search, not a Google search, but a, just a regular search for it, those bring a postage stamps. Even though I put postage, die, shape, stamp, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It still does that. All right. So here we, we are. We're back with our regular scheduled program. And we're going to go ahead and um, use these right here. Some different markers. And we're going to just pick some colors to have. And I think we're going to go... I want to do one red. So let's do a reddish color green, silver gray, and of course blue, right? Oh, let me show you this picture and then I'll be done showing off. Was it you who was talking about a new collab on the 5th? If so, I can't remember. No, the 5th? Mm-mm. Nope. 10 on the 10th. 3 on the 3rd. The 18th. The 3rd Thursday. The 3rd Friday. Maybe um, Poet Spice, maybe? I don't know. I have to keep my ear to the street. Okay, so yesterday I went to the doctor. Right, let me see if I can make it where you can't see these people at. Look at this tree. That tree is gorgeous and it lit up. I was like, oh, I want that one. <laughs> I sent the picture to the big room and he's like, that's at the doctor's office. I was like, yes. He's like, oh, it's nice. I was like, isn't this nice? He's like, yeah, that's nice. Now, I haven't used these markers, so, oh, this is going to be perfect. All right, so we're going to make this gray. My son has discovered Garfield and he loves him. And I'm like, yeah, Garfield is pretty cool. I like Odie though. Because now I'm trying to figure out is Garfield like Stewie or no? Like, who can hear this cat talking? The old Garfield, you never heard him talk. Yeah, it was it, Deb. It's like one of those things you're like, oh, that is so pretty. It's so It was like breathtaking. This is going to be, I think that's too light. We need a darker blue. Always blue, right? I try to incorporate other colors though, just because it can't always be blue. But I'm like, why not? All right, let's see. Um, yeah, that's good. I think this is good. Nope. Go ahead and put this back in. Attempt to not make mess while we we're crafting. <laughs> you know what? This teal may work better. Let's try this teal. Yeah. It's not teal. Brandy, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or this blue. Ooh. We're going to use this one. This one we can save for another day. You know, I want to discuss something, y'all. All right, Deb, um, Barry. Um, I think this is going to be hard to say, hard to wrap your head around when I say it, but you're going to think about it. You're going to be like, yeah, you're right. Um, maybe. I think as adults, we are more in our feelings than little kids are. And we're going to make this one a darker gray. But we know how hard life is, right? Like, life and adulting is not the easiest thing to do. Um, it's a lot of sacrifices that you have to make that you probably don't want to make. 
And I think that sometimes we don't realize that and we don't know how to say, I'm sorry. And we also don't know how to say, you hurt my feelings. You made me mad. You suck. Without the other person getting offended. I think we should work on that. Like the adulting people that's out here talking about gentle parenting. What about gentle adulting? Shoot. That's all. Just think about it. I try to evaluate the situation that I'm in when someone has made me mad or I'm like angry about certain things. And for the most part, I can address the person if if if, if it's worth fighting for, right? If it's worth saying, you know, you made me mad or you did this. And sometimes I'm like, maybe it was just me being dumb and then I have to let it go. Or maybe it was this person being dumb and I'm not going to let it go. But sometimes I think we don't know these things if you don't approach them. Because I've spoken to a few of my friends about not being friends with people because of that situation. I'm I'm not the best communicator in the world. And I have a bad temper. You probably can't tell, but I do have a really bad temper sometimes. And um stuff gets to me sometimes and then other times like you know what it's just me being dumb or this person is being silly or whatever and I let it go but if you know people say I've told you that this bothered me or blah 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 and you're probably like I don't see how it bothered you it was nothing right like if we go somewhere and you try to take my french fries I'm gonna be very mad at you because my french fries are a sacred meal to me like you do not take you don't stick your fingers in my french fry bowl like my nachos yeah you can have those but my french fries uh uh-uh. so this is a cute little situation but the it's thin and i understand i feel like the marker itself is thin so it's causing me to have some issues with that i don't know why like the grip I said that because, you know, like when you dealing dealing with children, they tell you how they feel. My son does at least. And you're like, OK, sh- fine. Sure. We'll we'll do this or we'll work on this or we'll do that. Right. Um, but as adults, I think sometimes we don't we just kind of hold those grudges a little bit too grudgingly. And it can cause issues that you really don't need. All right, so we're going to go green. I think we're going to do traditional crema. Traditional crema. Let's see. Yes. At the store, I went to the ladies. These ladies had on some ugly sweaters, but they were so beautiful. It was like a gingerbread, and it was like all golden. It was like, I don't know what it said. It said Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, something like that. But it was uh, it was supposed to be an ugly sweater, but it was really pretty. Like I remember back in the day before ugly sweaters got real popular, ugly sweaters were just that ugly sweaters. Now, ugly sweaters are a whole production. Have y'all finished Christmas shopping yet? I tell everybody on your list. I haven't. I haven't got myself nearly as much stuff as I, I thought I was. I thought I was going to get those stamps from Ranger Inc. Mm-mm, nope. Nope. Nope and nope. They was like, not this time. Try again another time, Sally. No, the hardest is my granddaughter. That is in college now. My daughter, side so finish everyone except for me. Samara, what you want for Christmas? Do what you want for Christmas. Um, we saw a toy. We saw a toy at um, 
oh, this is orange. Um, Tuesday morning, I think I might try to get back and get it for him. It had to be before Friday, though. But he don't need it. You know what? No, we're not getting no more toys. Y'all, we lost a library book. A library book. The worst part is this library book is copyrighted in 2009. The book is like, ha, 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 you going to find me. So um, the librarian wrote me. And she was like, you know, after our conversation, blah, 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 I've suspended your account. Um, can't decide between <gasps> laptop. I, I mean, that's what I would go for. I mean, but you can go whatever you want to go with, right? Can't <sighs> you expensive? I want to get a tablet for Black Friday. Um, an Amazon tablet. But I was like, no, nah, I ain't gonna never use it. But they have this game thing, a stream deck that I can lay in bed and play video games. I might have to talk to Big Roommate about that. Because I, I think I might want it. I think. I don't need it, though. Now I'd rather get some craft stuff. You know, you got a bed when you like gaming and you can lay in bed and, and um, game, but you're like, I want craft stuff instead. <laughs> what's, what size laptop are you trying to get? Are you an Apple person, Samara? Really? You all team Apple up in here. You all team Android. Me, new dishwasher, freezer, for basement, living room, furniture, microphone, UV, resin kit. Probably one of those I'll get. Listen, I bought a resin kit. It was on um clearance. Was it on clearance? It was like $12. I didn't get a kit. The UV plug-in thing was just regular resin thing. But I was like, oh, I'm going to try this out. You're not Team Apple. Well, that's good. We still friends. Then I'm joking. I'm not Team Apple either. Our our daughter is, though. She She's Team Apple. Um, I know some people that go from Apple to Android. They're like, it's so much better. And then I know people that's like, Android sucks. Apple is where it's at. I'm like, whatever floats your boat, buddy. Do your thing. Deb, you're going to get all of that or that's what you want to get? I want a new living room set. So we're supposed to go look for it on Friday, look at it on Friday. But since he's um, not working today, maybe we can go. No, we have to go another time. All right. So I only pulled out three colors. I was like, gray and blue red and green i think we'll try this gray on gray just whatever you do be consistent i have a non-apple laptop and an iphone they don't like each other <laughs> yeah i have an ipad it's old 2012 old i also have a tablet um I have a touch tone touch screen laptop. No, Chromebook. It got broken, had to be replaced. The problem with all of those companies is that, you know, they first start out and they're giving you a bunch of stuff. And then as they get more popular, they start taking things away. And you don't have um, as good of assistance. All right. Kelly, baby. I only feed Nicholas twice a day. He be getting on my dang nerves, too. Like, meow. 
And then he'd be like, as soon as I come home or we open the door, he'll be walking in front, like waiting like a dog at the door, waiting on us. And then he um he turns his back and he walks like, come on, let me show you what you need to do for me. And then he like he's like strutting, taking time. Like yesterday I had picked up the um, little roommate and um I had to use the restroom so bad. And Nick was like, do 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 do. I'm like, get out of the way, cat. And he looks back at me. He's like, meow. I'm like, sir, can you please move? This is a matter of mopping and not mopping at this point. Because I had to go. I've been trying to increase my liquid intake a lot more. Because yesterday I wasn't, I started feeling bad. Yes. He's like, do, 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 do. come feed me and it wasn't time yet so he was like Meow. like bruh it's not time yet taco tuesday taco tuesday it seemed like it's wednesday all of a sudden but it's just Tuesday. We've been we've been hanging out for a little while. I do apologize for starting so late today though. I want to run that errand and see if I could take care of some business. The answer is no. I mean I did run the errand and I got to do a little bit, but Wednesdays is usually the day that I can get everything completely done. Because, you know, you got to wait on the stores to open and stuff like that. Would be nice if it was Wednesday. Why? Are you are you on vacation after Wednesday? Are, they, are your grandkids um, coming to your house for the holiday? Like for the holiday break? If so, let me know so I can send my, my kiddo to you, too. Put him in the box and mail him. So I'm just making, like, small circles because that one stroke was not working for me at all. Also, I want to talk about this YouTube algorithm situation. I am not getting videos from people I'm subscribed to popping up in my um, thing. This is interesting. I use the exact same color. I'm going to use this red. One day closer to the weekend. Oh, yeah. Always. I love that. Let's see. Brings out the red in her shirt. <laughs> Now we know what happens when we start washing clothes and start fading. Somebody then took these chemicals and mixed up the wrong colors and made it different. I'm going to go back over with the other red, though. One day close to the weekend. This morning, my son was like, Mommy, can we take the tree down after the new year? It's not even up yet. But I was like, yeah, sure. So that's when we take it down the weekend that he goes back to school that week. Next year, I'm going to be Mrs. Kringle. I'm going to have cookies and donuts and pastries and all that junk. We're going to pass all that out. We're going to be knocking on the neighbor's doors. No, we're not going to do that at all. I'm sorry. That sounded like a lie if y'all know me right. Because that is not about to happen. You get a present. You get a present. No. Yeah, my grants will be here. Don't need any extra. But thanks for... Oh, no, 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 no. See? I'm going to send him anyway. And be like, just knock on the door and smile. <laughs> he probably be like, where you going? You not um I don't know her. Huh? He's silly. He had got a bad grade on his test um 
couple of months ago on his math test. And so the next time I had went over the test with him, I tried to show him how to add and subtract with your fingers because that's why God gave them to you to do math with. And um, he got a better grade, but he didn't get a good grade. It was just better. And so I told him this time, I said, let's study. And he was like, I don't want to study. I said, we need to study so you don't get a bad grade. And I said, if you get a bad grade on your test, you're not going to be able to watch TV until my birthday. And that's 120 something days away. And so yesterday, his test came back. And um, he was like, mommy, my test came back. And I was like, okay, good. I said, what'd you get? And he was like, I got an 86 on it. Is that bad? And I was like, no, that's good. He said, so I can watch TV? <laughs> I was like, yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> We're going to use this jelly roll pen real quick. I'm going to use, hopefully, this red and this blue one. Um... He was kind of, you know, nervous, but he didn't want to do his after school activity yesterday because I think he was scared that he had got a bad grade. But I had told him if you study, because I also told him that um, he wasn't reading. And I was like, look at your reading scores. They went down. As soon as we went back to him doing it the way I had told him to do, you know, like reading, let's, when you first come home from school, let's do your homework. Don't pitch a fit. Cause you know how people always tell you to choose your battles. Don't, it's not worth fighting every battle with your child. Cause sometimes you got to let them make those bad decisions, not detrimental decisions, but bad decisions to see that this wasn't a very good idea. And so, um, I said, see, you even did good on your reading. He was like, yeah, mommy, are you proud of me? I was like, I'm always going to be proud of you, even if you don't do good work. But when you do good work, that makes mommy happy. So he's like, yeah, like he was all excited. My mom never had those pep talks with me to do good at school. I just kind of did good in school. So... I try to, um, you know, my uncle always has been telling me a lot lately, don't compare yourself with him. It was a different situation, a different time. My, I could say, you know, he went in, um, I could tell my uncle that my son went in and spray painted the backyard of the house or something. He was like, well, you know, he just a kid exploring, blah, 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 blah. Then he'd be like, why the spray paint out? I'm like, oh, we was working on this project. Well, you shouldn't have did this. Because he going to try everything. I'm like, sir, please. You know how everybody says, my mom used to whoop my butt. And now that I have grandkids, the same thing that I used to do, she let um her grandkids get away with it. Is that you, Samara? You be letting the little grands get away with stuff? Or nah, I feel like somebody would be like, uh-uh, don't try that with me. You try that at home, not here. I feel like that's something you would say. <laughs> that's not you. You'd be like, don't try that at, at, with me, huh? Take that mess home. <laughs> I've seen people buckle. I've seen with my own eyes people buckle. I'm like, uh, when you got soft? <laughs> you just gonna let them do whatever they want, huh? And everybody, like, see, she remember. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm only here for a day. I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Smile like, nah. I got a feeling she be letting them make it sometimes.
Now that we didn't actually sit here and color three girls, I want a nap. All right. Let's clip her out, one of them out. Make us a tag. Deb, you let your grandkids get away with murder. Oh, you'd be like, nah. <laughs> they were like, try that at home. Not here. <laughs> I ain't your mama. I remember um, when I was growing up, you know, it'd be like little kids that were kind of all over the place. They'd be like, give me one week with that boy and I'll have him straighten out. They come back worse than they were before. My mom used to always tell me, you never did that kind of stuff. You just used to sit there and look at the kids like, why y'all running around? I kind of still do that. Like, if we go places, I'm the person that's kind of observing everything, trying to figure out why this kid is, you know, doing this crazy nonsense. But at the same time, I'm much more of a, like, sit back and watch versus let's jump off the roof. Like, if you're jumping off the roof, I'm like, okay, I'll meet you downstairs. And people are like, oh, you're a party pooper. I'm, I'm trying to be alive tomorrow. Like when um, I had a roommate and they go to parties and stuff. I'm like, I'll see you at work. I'm like, you're not going? I was like, I would. First of all, I'm, I'm such a um, square. People don't invite me to stuff like that. So she would get invited to all kinds of stuff because she was real cool. She was the kind of person that, never mind, I won't even talk about it. But, um. Yeah, she get invited to stuff, and I wouldn't. Off oh, there were parties, I'm like I'm ready to go. As you get older, though, either you keep that party life in you, or you be like, uh, uh-uh, I'm good. I don't want to do this. I'm much more of a let's stay home, not Netflix and chill, because I I don't really watch a lot of TV. Um. I probably watch way much, way too much YouTube. I'm not even like in big into TikTok. I'll watch a few TikToks. Um, but after that, I'm like, okay, what were we doing? I guess because my brain is um, always trying to process what just happened whenever it's somebody doing something crazy. Like I've been... Um, I, and I normally don't watch a lot of news and stuff like that, but I've been intrigued by a few things going on lately. And I'm just trying to watch how it's going to play out because it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, the things that happen. So I'm trying to see. I think we can just leave this hook off. Because she's not trying to fuss cut no hook. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out this thing right here. Don't fall. Please don't fall. Yes, that works great. This thing is thick. I know I said that already, but it is thick. We're going to put it like this. If you have dollies, pull them out and use them. Do we need this tree? We don't need the tree, but we need... See, I didn't ripped out these pages. Y'all let me do this to my papers. Why did you let me do this? Holly Jolly. Can we do Holly Jolly? Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Okay, so this is this. And if we did Holly Jolly right here, that's not bad. It's a circle. Seasons greetings. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's move this up. And then seasons greetings. Right here. Would that look good? We're going to try it out. Let's see. So we're going to use this paper. Take the sticker. And 
I would see why they was putting these on 60 and 70% off. Oh. Yo, really? You know who I would love to put something 60% off? Michael's. I want a few of their Christmas things. Seeing people hauling. People hauling Michael stuff. I'm like, y'all like Michael's again? Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... um. Yeah, that's good. Burnish this in. Like Deb Hulk, who's in the chat. When she hauled this stuff, I was like, Deb, why'd you do this? I want to go to Michael's now. Actually, I did go to Michael's. So y'all always talking about me being an enabler. Hmm, that's crooked as heck. Oh, you saying, huh? Mm -hmm. She says, I have another video coming because all my order wasn't here. <laughs> did they take that paper back, Deb? I'm sure they did. Or did they say, no, don't worry, everybody. It was our mistake. You can keep it. By the time things go on clearance, usually nothing left. Exactly. But I still be waiting. Because I'm always like, oh, I could do this with that. All right, so let's glue this down. Uh, yeah, let's glue it. I was going to say we could try tape, but I did not buy any tape from Hobby Lobby. That's what I need. I need some foam tape from there. Dang it. I have to go again. Boy, it's me. <laughs> okay, glue. Sometimes I live in a fairly decent climate for warm stuff. So my art glitter glue should never really um, dry up or get to that frozen state. But sometimes I be like, I feel like the art glitter glue is like, mm-mm. Oh, oh, so she did say. That was nice of her. But Deb took it back anyway. That was nice of you. I would have kept it. Now, mind you, I have I have received multiples of things before. And I've like from um Amazon. I had ordered some lights from there a while back. And um they sent them to the wrong spot. But I eventually got them. And I was like, yeah, I didn't get my lighting. And so they they sent them out again. And I got the lighting. I was like, uh, what you want me to do with these other lights? They was like, just keep it. I was like, okay. So I can understand. Honesty is always the better policy than not being honest. I really don't think Michaels has that good of a grip on some of their the things. Like they do have inventory, but I think it's a loose, more of a looser inventory. Um, because I had went to Michaels and they had this was a couple of months back. It was in October, I believe. They had um clearing some of their stuff. And so I had went and talked to the lady. I was like, these things said that they're supposed to be a two ninety nine, but it's not ringing up. What is the deal? Like I wasn't asking her could I get a deal? I just want to know because I don't like getting to the register and it's not right. You know what I'm saying? And so she was like, oh no, we'll honor it since they didn't take the price down. And it was like seven, eight things. And the girl was like, huh. she was mad at the register. Huh. I was like, well, she, you know, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to give me the deal. Just take the crap off. She had an attitude, the girl that was ringing me up. So sometimes Michael's is hit or miss with the customer service. The one closest by me. All right, so we got this right here. Yep. And then we got this. And I wanted to pop this up, but you know, I just said I ain't have no phone tape. So let's see. Do, 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 do.
Nope. I don't have no wire hangers and no foam dag on tape. Let's see. Wouldn't it be cool? Never mind. Wrong audience. I don't see if they made a, a game with that in there, but wrong audience. That would be a hard game. All right, so we're going to uh, pop this up. I'm going to use some foam to pop this up. Now I can't see the foam. Who made, why you made her work at her job? Oh, I know, right? She was, listen, she was mad, mad. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't like when people do that to me either because I'm like, I'm paying money. It's not like I'm asking for it for free. I just wanted to clarify and see what the deal was. And since, you know, y'all messed up, I guess the manager was like, no, we'll honor it. I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. We're going to use this foam sheets. And it has adhesive on here. I think I got these from uh, 99 Cent Only Store. I think. So, this is a very good deal if you are doing some die cuts and you want to pop them up. We're just going to use um, uh, a white one. And move on from there. I don't, um, you know, I used to work at Blockbuster Video when I was growing up, when I was a teenager. And I, I don't, I don't have the same, I didn't have the same mindset that they had. Like, you know, back in the day, if you're working, you're dang on working. Not, not working. I think even the slackiest person. would probably outwork the slackiest person now compared to back then. But she was mad at me. She was big time mad too. So um, just thinking about it irritates me. Because <laughs> she had a, yeah, anyway. Um, you can't see them. I'm just putting some double-sided tape right here. I really shouldn't be using this small tape. I should be using larger tape so it can cover a better surface faster. All right. Oh, then I dropped it on the floor. Do any of you do any volunteer work? Um, not anymore. But when I lived here before, I volunteered at the San Antonio Food Bank, boxing up food and unpacking the donations and making boxes. Season's greetings. What is going on? Oh, I got tape on the back. I'm like, why is it um sticking? Duh. Okay. Thank you. It took us three years to get here, didn't it? I thought we was gonna be able to do more more than this. I'm gonna see if I can come lot go live tomorrow and, and make up for lost time. I mean, I I didn't we didn't lose much. We only lost like five ten minutes, right? I want to put something here, and the only thing I can think of is some gems. Um, so that's what we're gonna use real quick. I really want to make some jewelry. 
So I need to find my, oh, you know what? No, not gems. We're going to use some bows, darling. Bows. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That would be too, that's not good enough for us. We're going to use some twine. I think we can just use this twine. I've seen people, I think Deb did this before too. She made like a crow's nest situation, which is like a bunch, just a balled up piece of thread. Um, but we're going to try to make a, a small little bow. This is way too big. We'll adjust it. Yeah, you had you had some twine before, some type of twine, and you had um, created some kind of, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, you had created some type of, it wasn't like a full nest, but you had took it and made some type of shape into it and put it on your package on the thing. Yep, definitely you. <laughs> I've seen a few people do it, but I remember you you, you for sure did it. Um, let's see. Maybe a um, present. Oh, maybe we can just put this thing here. This little um, star. This little star can go in there. Do I already have one out? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a little star out. We ain't got to do that. Let's do this star right here. Okay. All right. Next thing is the next tag. So now we're going to take it and we're going to just use these elements on here. I think this corner will work. Can I put this little guy right here? It's day two of my neighbor's house getting torn down completely there on the concrete walls and basement loud when they put stuff in the ginormous dumps. Oh, why? Well, if you don't mind me asking, why they tearing the house down? Like, did something bad happen? We use season greeting. Let's try. He's rebuilding a big house. Oh, fancy, huh? We're going to put this Merry Christmas right here. And what I'm hoping I can do. Yep. Right there. Okay, so we're going to burnish this down. And now, let's go ahead and glue this in. I always said that if I ever built built something, I would take some um, <laughs> some skeletons from like Hobby Lobby or whatever Michaels, and put them in the walls and stuff. So when people tore it down, they would get freak out. Not too fancy, just bigger than a bachelor pad, teeny tiny house. I am jealous they'll have that he'll have a two car garage though. Makes me want to do the same. Wait, wait, wait. So listen, I'm about to maybe I'm gonna sound poor, cheap, or whatever. But he's tearing down his house and rebuilding it. That costs money, don't it? It ain't free. Like I just find that to be very and where he's staying the whole time, like the house is going to take how long to be built? Maybe I'm missing, missing, misunderstanding it. I could be wrong. I don't know. All right, let's see. So we got this Merry Christmas cricket, of course. Of course. 
Maybe we can just put this rain. No, no rain, dear. You want a bigger house? I would like to move, honestly. But we here. We st I'm stuck here. Okay, so we will use this tree. Or maybe not. Let's see. I'm just trying to check and see what I got in my already pulled out craft stuff. He wants to settle down, start a family, etc. That's nice. I would probably be like, that's overrated, bro. Don't, don't, don't. I'm not the right person, right? Not the right person to advertise. Well, that's really cool that he's able to do that. That's really cool. I just, um, I don't know, for tearing down a whole house, seems like it would be very expensive to um, do. I want to see if they have these on sale. Get a, get, get a, get a pet, you know, to start a child and then see if that's really what you want to do so this tree is much bigger i'm liking that better and we need something right here so look we're gonna, i think we're gonna put a present right there a little gift if you notice i'm not using this snowman he's so cute oh my goodness he is the most cutest adorable -est thing years ago before i moved here his house was a country cottage for the aunt the people that had my house to come visit and some of then they split properties oh wow so he got some cash okay i see why he's um upgrading he's like um we can afford it <laughs> all right so i'm gonna put some glue on this sticker even though i could just peel the back off we're not doing that why do it the easy way when we don't complicate a few things all right so bursting it down with my finger Look, this glue is mad at me for some reason. I didn't do anything to you, Art Glitter Glue. Nothing at all. Not one single thing. I'm just trying to use you in a way that's best for me. All right, and then we're going to throw down a beautiful sticker. I'm not sure where I got these from. Some Christmas presents. Look good. No, that'd be crazy. All right. And then I think we're going to put, oh, we can put another type of Christmas present down. Another cute hat. Thank you so much. I just like to be able to show people that, because I struggle with, you know, I struggle with them. <laughs> big time but i just want to show people that it's e you know if you have a few things you don't need everything a few things can make making something a little bit more easy versus hard i think i want to put this down let's see let's, go look. let's do this let's move this over or not let's see can we move it over oh fiddle faddle all right we'll do that one yep and look, not a glue want to ooze out. Oh, come on. Come on, glue. Do me right. That's why I be dating Aileen. You know what I'm saying? Because Artie over here mad at me. His temperature didn't erupt it and he upset with me. Um, we're going to do this one right here. Then we're going to do our last tag. I'm going to try to get my act together and come back tomorrow. I can't make any promises, though. Right, so we got that one. And then our oh, last tag. And I think we're going to try and use this stamp set right here. This, not stamp set, sticker situation. We did pull out four, but um, I'm getting tired. Fatigue. I'm hungry. It's almost noon. So we're going to do Merry Christmas. Is that even... Oh, we're going to do Joy to the World, right? Joy to the World, right here. 
and this car is hanging off. And I'm waiting on the email. <gasps> Could I? <gasps> oh, never mind. We're going to do this one instead. Yes. Joy to the world it is. She could not make up her mind. <laughs> Joy to the world. In heaven and nature. I used to hate those things, y'all. Them school programs. Ugh. It's crooked. Apparently, I hate putting stuff on straight, too. <laughs> That's the straightest it's going to get. Did y'all like school programs? Participating in them, not going to them and watching. Like actually being in the school program. I was like, no. I did it though, because you know, you can't you can't say no in school. You got to do it. I'm just trying to find a sticker. I want to see if we can't use these little snowmen over here. <gasps> oh, we can't. Because it's clear. My bad. Like last year when my little guy had to perform in one, I was like, oh, that's going to be so cute. You like the So my, I can't believe that. But if you say it, I feel like you, you was like, I'm just going to sit here. But you probably was bad, weren't you? Used to be into everything, mess with everything. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I got something in my tricks or bags over here, and the answer is heck no. When I was in the choir, like, see, I can't sing. I did like going because I got a chance to be around the other kids. But for the most part, that was probably it. You know, people can be mean, cruel. And they can mess with you. Oh, my goodness. We need some ephemera for this situation. And wouldn't you know it. I came unprepared. Oh no, 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 no. We got we got something. We got something. We got something. Yes, we're gonna use some stockings. Cause I feel like would you really want to tag this way? I mean you I guess you could, but no. We don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna use this stocking sheet right here I've been I have a friend that I met through the video game world that I live in and um, she was obese her words not mine she was you know thick um, and she started losing weight she lives overseas she started losing weight and um, she got into a choir and now she stopped doing her video gaming and she just like enjoys the choir um and i'm happy for her for that because you know you got to find something that makes you happy in her church so um it's really cool i'm gonna see if this will work uh, one Little ugly tree right here. Three. I always find it very interesting when people say that they're when I when I met her, first of all, I want to preface this, I was thinner than I am now. 
much more thinner. Um, and she, you know, when she used to show me her pictures, she was like, I, I've lost three stone or, you know, this stone amount of stone. And I was like, I think you look good the way you were, but, or the way you are now, whatever. And she was, she was one of those people that was like dedicated to losing weight. And she don't even look like the same person anymore. You know, a lot of times when people lose weight and they get to their certain goal weight, they change their hair color, they cut it or either they get it longer. It's a lot of stuff that they do. And I think that's just a mental um, process that you go through of renewing or whatever. Because I know that when I would lose a few pounds here and I'm like, oh, I'm going to wear this outfit. I think it just makes you feel so good. And now that she's singing, because I had asked another friend of ours from that same community and they were like, oh, yeah, she doesn't really do much of that anymore because she's in her choir. And I was like, oh, she's still doing that. That's nice. I'm going to put this here. I can't sing, though. <laughs> I can't cut a straight line and sing. And if those were the things that was depending on us to be safe, y'all, Oh, we in trouble, big time. All right. Just a little oddball tag. And let's see. Move all this out the way. That's why stickers be coming in handy. I can't make this kid look like he's a part of this scene properly. Yeah. Joy to the world. I need one more thing. And I don't know what that is. Well, I can sing. It's horrible. But it's singing good. <laughs> Your behind is so funny. Yeah, I mean, I can sing if that's the case. I sound real good. Horribly really good. Um, I want to try to put this little star. Put this star. We're going to try to put these little gold stars on there. <laughs> you know what they say? You can make a joyful noise. Not, who sh not quite sure who you bring joy to with that noise, but okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Funny. That's a bit off, but that's okay. We're going to do one more over here. And that is that. To figure out what's going on with this art glitter glue. I just lost the tags. Oh, no. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is our one tag. This is a little bit off of the other two, but I think it's cool. Because he's going to the skating rink. He's pointing at somebody. Ha ha, you fell down and hurt yourself. And then what you don't see is right here, he falls down and hurts himself too. Um, we got some trees because this is the community, whatever. And we got a few lights, I mean stars. And some little embellishes on the side. And then you did these too. I'll probably finish cutting her out, the rest of them. And maybe, I don't know, and finish the tag up. I had such a great time today. I, I'm going to try to come back. If not, I'll be back next week. My kiddo will be home. So just keep that in mind, um, and we'll see. I want to say thank you all for watching. I had a great time hanging out with you. And so thank you for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.